कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे सोरे की गांड फट गई गाइस टुडे वी गॉट न्यू लीक्स अबाउट जीटीएस सिक्स ट्रेलर टू द मैप गॉल लीक द इंटायर मैप गॉल लीक्ड आउट दिस टाइम वी गॉट इमेजेस एस वेल द हुस्स या बुढ़ा गरीब लीक्ड आउट फॉर द बिलियंस टाइम इस द बुढ़ा गोना बी नर्फ इस इट नॉट गोना बी नर्फ लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू डोंट वांट इन नर्फ जस्ट लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू वांट इन नर्फ तो ये Get ready for the climax, sir. Boo Boo got a video that I want to show you. Uh, wait for it, guys. Roll it. Open and shut. Now it wouldn't be a Rockstar open world game without a giant map, and we recently got yeah. new leaks revealing how Rockstar is yeah, approaching the, images, the design right? like, of the buildings. GTA fans have been asking Rockstar for a long time to make a game where most, if not all, of the buildings actually yeah. had interiors. And according, oh, we have been asking. I mean, for a very long time, bro. You don't say, right? Like ten plus years. Oh, sheesh, man. To this leak, as well as the technology behind the leak, our wish might be coming. True. Now the leak oh, stated that 70% of the buildings in GTA 6 are going to have interiors, and the buildings will be interable. Now, as much as dog, 70%. Now, come on, dog. Like, what are we talking <laughs> here, bro? What are we talking? For this one, you would need PlayStation 70. My nan never seen 70% in her life, bruh. What are we talking? 70%? Y'all think it's crazy? You, you would, we would need like PlayStation 70, bro. If we would be lucky if like 20% of them are enterable. Thoughts, guys? This sounds amazing. I think it might be overblown a bit. 70% is a huge number for a game yeah. like this, and it would be a ton of work for the sure. hardware. And I personally don't know if the consoles are capable of handling something of that scale. Right now, we're hearing that like PS5 and Xbox Series X are not gonna be able to do uh, 30 FPS. Bruh. That's what we're hearing, guys. Hopefully, that's not true. But we're hearing that. Do you really think that the the game is gonna be uh, entryable, or most buildings are gonna be entryable in the game? Come on, no, bro. Like I wish it was, but like, come on, man. That's, oh. that's however, a this is Rockstar really. we're talking about, so anything is really possible. Now, with this being said, I do think GTA 6 will have a lot more entryable buildings than anything Rockstar has made before. But 70% seems pretty high. If there are that many buildings that end up being entryable, I think we should be prepared for a lot of the buildings to only have some. Rooms as opposed to being completely designed yeah. and furnished. For example, yeah. if a hotel building is, it's gonna be like a whole lot of copy paste, which I guess is, it, it, it happens in every, with every game, and it, it is in it's the case in every game, and it's fine. But if like seventy percent of the buildings are entryable then a lot of the buildings are gonna look the, and feel the same so it's gonna be like for the first month yeah everybody's gonna be cool everybody's gonna be like yeah let's enter all the buildings let me go this place let me go that place but after that it's just gonna feel like whatever whatever kind of so i i hope it's good i just hope for a good game simple as that like the video if you agree dislike if you disagree Terrible. You might only be able to walk around the lobby, and then the elevators and stairs will be locked to keep the hardware yeah. from getting too overwhelmed. That means maybe, maybe you would have to buy a Megalodon shark card to open that. Maybe that's that what I 100% expect GTA 6's map to have a good number of fully designed buildings and their interiors, and it'll definitely be a much bigger game than ever before. But 70%, I think that might be a bit wishful thinking. Now, there's also been a bit of conversation in the community recently about Rockstar using AI or procedural generation to design yeah, building yeah, interiors. Yeah. <laughs> Similar to what Bethesda did with Starfield. Yo, uh, okay, honestly, that would be good, but yeah, Starfield, Starfield, y'all think it's crazy? Nah, bro, nah, 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 nah. You guys, if you don't remember, like this is what we had in Starfield. This is my my uh, bra. Yeah. This is my bra man from Starfield. Everybody say hola. Everybody say come on, amigo. Cause uh, yeah, bro, I don't want a Starfield situation, bro. Starfield did the fans absolutely dirty. The fans were expecting like a miracle. The fans were expecting like the eight. Wonder and instead uh, we couldn't even and uh, I mean nobody's playing that game right now it's just like now nah, bro like stop stop saying stop right now bro map. If Rockstar is actually trying to maximize the number of interable buildings around the map, they probably won't be able to just handcraft every single one of the buildings because that is just way too much time. Just think about how many buildings there are on GTA 5 and yeah. think about how many more buildings there will be on GTA 6. Absolutely, Expecting Rockstar yeah. to handcraft every single one of their interiors is a bit Impossible. much, even with Impossible. how long this game has been in development. If Rockstar is going to try to get a solid percentage of the buildings to be interable, they'll inevitably have to use procedural generation, yeah. possibly some AI tech, to some And, and honestly, honestly, if they do decide, they are already using AI. Let's be real. But if they do decide to use AI for this type of thing, I, that's perfectly fine, though. I think nobody would not want seventy percent of the buildings entryable. Oh hell, I want that. But it's just one of those things that, bruh, like right now we're hearing that the game is having trouble running at thirty FPS. That's what we're hearing. Does not mean that it's true. That's basically the rumors and all that crap, right? But we're hearing that the game is struggling to hit thirty FPS. So, like, what? What are we talking about? Yeah, bro. Like, I don't know about this one, man.
for you to get the job done but i don't want you to think that means that the game is going to automatically suck procedural generation is a bit of a dirty phrase in gaming nowadays but it doesn't have to be procedural generation is done all the time and when it's done correctly it works really well just like how other developers use procedural generation they'll make a rough blueprint of the buildings oh, and then go yeah. in and manually fix them to make them more realistic and fun to play in i guess what i'm saying is is don't get too upset if the news comes out later this year and confirms that rockstar use ai or procedural generation to make gta 6 because with a project this large it was inevitable that they'd have to use some yeah. of the more modern yeah. tools in order to make the size and, and i don't think like people will be too upset if they use it people don't care let's be real like sickers just want a good game bro like brothers just want a good game right like the video if you agree dislike if you disagree if the game is fun the story is good gameplay is fine uh map is big enough and the lucia burna does not get nerfed and there isn't that much uh, woke crap in it everybody's gonna be happy it's gonna be the biggest game bro like it's uh, a, a, a that's what people want people just want a good and fun game bro simple as that nobody gives a damn about if they use ai or no ai bro that's that's what we want bro the scale that we expect it to we be just want a good i game, feel bro. like the word ai nowadays has just become the boogeyman when in reality gaming has used ai for a very long time now since yeah, we're on the yeah. topic of the gta 6 map i'd like to talk about a community project yeah. called uh -oh. the gta uh -oh. 6 mapping project well it's still going stronger than ever and they recently released an update and it looks amazing for those of you who are out of the loop the gta 6 mapping project is a passionate group of fans who have been combing through all of the leaks over the last few years and have literally cross-referenced them with the official trailer from december in order to create a mock-up of the game's yeah. open world the dog like the map keeps on expanding like that lucia Bruna that we saw in the the, the trailer yay just like how rockstar games wallets are expanding after <laughs> like the gta plus pricing <laughs> price increase these seconds are crazy man i swear to god man these seconds are gonna raise the gta plus prices again by the time gta 6 comes out we're gonna be getting double megalodon cards like they're gonna be going in double pump style you feel what i'm saying pa, pa, pa. uh you gotta pay like 200 dollars to get that that 16 million 16 million uh shard cards and get that gta money in the game i mean i swear to god man these suckers need their ass beat up in gta 7 in gta 7 get ready for those gta 7 videos hitting your sub boxes very very soon guys no i'm just joking around but you know like uh, gta 7 videos are <laughs> man okay how long do you think that people are gonna wait before making gta 7 videos one month after gta 6 one year 10 years okay that's impossible uh let's just be like one month one uh one year how long do you guys think G yeah so the map is expanding i hope the map is big enough for the lucia bruna because I, but I guess still i don't think the map is big enough though the gta 5 mapping project ended up being pretty accurate and the gta 6 mapping project there's even more people working on it and even more leaks to use as a reference point but just how big is it now well according to the recent april update the play area is going to be absolutely massive it include yeah. a large chunk of the state of leonida it, it does look big you got port here you got white city here you got the Miami Beach right there. I, I cannot uh, wait to visit the Key West, but is this big enough for the Lucia Bruna though? Right? Like, yeah, forget everything, guys. Like, this is a massive problem we have right now Bruh. in our hands. The map is big, but is it big enough for the Lucia Bruna? it's a massive like massive problem right now that we have to solve uh yeah at least three major cities have been confirmed and there's okay. even some other conversations in the community right now over whether or not there will be other major cities as well by city is meant to be up, a parody guys? of miami but with the mapping project more or less confirming a massive play area and with the developer's son suggesting two other major cities it seems like there will be other parodied versions of florida cities like tampa and orlando the second gta 6 trailer is likely going to confirm yeah more Guys, be, right before we get down to the main event, we, we're going to be talking about the GTA 6 trailer too. Real quick, I want to say if you hop over on the channel page, you can actually find out my other channels as well. Uh, if you guys are new here, consider liking and subscribing. Helps out a ton. Uh, check out the other channels as well. Uh, on this one, we upload conspiracies every single day. On this channel, I talk about the benefits of not chasing the pom pom here. Yay. You might want to... If you check it out, you're going to learn a thing or two here, guys. But conspiracies here then uh, we have this channel for talking about notches in the pom pom all right let's get back to the content now boo boo locations on the map but for the time being the mapping project is really exciting to look into and i think there's a pretty solid chance it ends up being legit given just how much of this game has already leaked so okay. next up let's talk about the second gta 6 trailer which is almost certainly going to come out some point this year yeah With my prediction point, being around point. the game awards time rockstar elected to release the first yeah! what what 
Dog, if we get GTA 6 trailer too, I talked about it in the past. If we get the next GTA 6 trailer around like December, November, or let's just say by the end of this year, don't expect the game coming out early 2025. At this point, do you expect it to come out in 2025? That's the question. I don't think anybody really, I mean, some do, but let's be real, but like most people, I feel like that expects GTA 6 to come out by the end of 2025, possibly even getting delayed to 20, <laughs> 2020. Yeah, Rockstar, you suckers, man. I swear to God, man. But obviously, it's gonna be one of those games that that we get and we play it for eternity so if it, there are minor delays yeah it's it's fine but i i hope it doesn't get delayed to 2026 personally thoughts guys but if we were to get the gts6 trailer like around their investor call which is happening i believe on may 16 i will surely live stream on the channel so hit the bell hit the subscribe bell i got you uh, so yeah if we yeah some believe are some are believing we're gonna get their trailer around that time if we do then i'm gonna be like okay there's a possibility we can get it like early 2025 to perhaps like mid 2025 but that doesn't mean that it's gonna guys like here's the the keyword is it might it might guys it might it might not it may it may not that's uh apparently uh how it is living life in the six here guys trailer before the game awards last year so that way they wouldn't crash the event and i think there's also a very good chance that they do the same thing this year as well releasing the second trailer around the one year anniversary of the first one would be a pretty solid strategy with the game confirmed for 2025 rockstar and take two are more than likely going to release some marketing this year and the hype campaign will probably kick into overdrive once the second trailer comes out but i guess this is all somewhat dependent on when in 2025 they're expecting to drop yeah. the game will it be early 2025 will it be Probably late not. 2025 but i also doubt rockstar is going to wait more than a year between the first trailer and the second trailer so that's one of the reasons yeah. why i'm expecting a trailer yeah, honestly like if they drop the trailer by the end of this year then it's like and they are planning to drop the game like early 2025 uh, technically like it's rockstar like they can do it right like perhaps drop it at the end of the the year hype everybody up and then you got the release date that coming early 2025 or coming march 2025 or some bull squash like that brad that's gonna create so much hype because yeah gta6 trailer a, a lot of hype right we had a lot of hype right now it's like we're kind of like in the valleys uh, everybody's kind of like waiting patiently waiting for the the next wave the next trailer new information from rockstar <laughs> which everybody knows that we're not gonna be getting anytime soon so uh, in return we don't have that much hype people are excited though don't get me wrong people are excited some are worried that it's gonna be woke some are worried it's not gonna be i think it's gonna be a little bit woke let's be real though let's Bruh. yeah let's be real here guys it's gonna be but I don't think it's gonna be full blown woke. That's where I'm at. But arguably, uh, let's be real, nobody can predict it. <laughs> we would have to wait for the game to come out before <laughs> finding out about that one. Let's hope it's not woke. That's all what I hope for right now. Uh, and I hope it's a good game. That's all I hope for. Good game, no woke, and fun game. That's all what I want. Can a brother perhaps get that? Like we have been waiting for how, how many years, guys? decade plus damn it decade plus or two to come out by the end of this year now one interesting detail that was confirmed after the release of the first trailer was the fact that the pc version of gta 6 is seemingly oh, not going to be it. available at the same time as yeah, the playstation and xbox versions which obviously isn't out of character for rockstar but i think a yeah. lot of gamers were hoping that gta gamers. 6 would break the trend rockstar has almost always had a delay between their console games and the pc ports so that way that the pc versions can be polished as possible but with how much pc gaming has grown since the release of gta 5 some were hoping that gta 6 would launch day and date on steam however the only versions of the game that are confirmed to be launched in 2025 are the ps5 and xbox yeah, versions sadly. which seemingly confirms that it's going to be any of you play gta on pc let me know man I'm, I'm i'm sure like a lot of people of course a lot of people do play but i'm wondering like if you guys watching do play and guys this is that video that we recently done because a lot of people are worried that gta 6 is gonna be woke. i'm not sure if you have seen it yeah if you're hearing about it this is one of the reason okay check out this video on the screen on the left this video is on my second channel guys not sure I, I, you liking the thumbnail i mean the, the story is absolutely crazy i know the thumbnail is like insane but the story is quite literally sad check out both of these videos and i'll see you right there